Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I've gotten something from China and I will open it with you. So this is an RK3588. I've got so many RK3588s, but this one is a special one. So this one is stackable, so to make clusters of it. So I will show you why that is. So let's open this. This ain't gonna be easy. Let's tear it apart. Now, like this. Here we go. Okay. I've got it opened. So here we have got the board. It is very light. So as you can see, it is from Mixtile, the Mixtile Blade 3. So that's in here. Let's open that later on. Here I've got SATA connector, breakout board. We'll look at this later on. Here, a lot of SATAs. Later on, we will look at that. Here I've got, I think, a power cable. Oh no, it is a probably PCI cable for their special PCI. Oh, this is the, this is the case. So this is the case for Mixtile Blade 3. So let's open this. I don't know much about it. They contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review this. So I told them, yes. Of course, I am willing to. It has got a big heatsink. That is nice. So let's open this. So here we go. Wow. This is a pretty board. I hope you can see it well. This is very nice. So the special thing about this is this port. So this is PCI Express 4 lanes. So PCI Express 3.0 4 lanes Gen 3. So uh, that makes this board pretty special because this is a very quick connection. And with that you can connect multiple of these boards, so you can make a cluster of these boards. So that is pretty great, but of course you can also use it for other things. So let me open up, I think this one. So I don't have a use for clusters, but I can use it for other things. So here we've got the same PCI Express port that fits on top of here. So let's plug it in. Oh, I cannot plug it in because I need to remove these two screws so I can add those screws. But well, you know, you see what is meant with it. So here you can plug it in and then you have got a breakout. So here I have got a SATA port and here we have got PCI ports. So PCI A and PCI E B. So then probably with this cable you can connect that. And here we have got Let's open this. I really don't know how it should be done. So it is all new for me. Let's see what this is. 
So this should connect onto here. This is an M.2 with one time, two time, three time, four time, five times, six times SATA. <coughs> so it does have got an SD card slot, but it is uh, pointing inwards, so that is pretty special. But it is good, it has got SD cards. Because lots of RK3588 boards do not have an SD card reader and I really miss that because it is easy to test new software with an SD card reader. So this has got a really very nice heatsink. I like to see this. So there should be more than sufficient for this sock. So as I said, here we have got a PCI Express Gen 3 four times. So four lanes. I think this is a PCI Express Gen 2 one lane. It is PCI Express to my knowledge. I should have uh, looked it up better but well. So here we have got an SD card reader. Then we have got two time USB type C. So uh, one will be for power I guess. There's nothing written on it. Yes, so this one is for power PD, this one is uh, for probably display also, there are two HDMI ports and this is great, there are two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. So this has got really good I.O. I don't see there is M.2 on this, maybe on the back side, I would have to see that. Well, let's open it. I want to see how it is. Okay, so I removed the four screws. Now let's take it apart. Is there something left? I think it should come off. Yes, here we go. So there is a thermal pad over here that was stuck on it. So as you see, this is a very nice heatsink. It's made of aluminium, I think. Yes, it will be aluminium. So here the back side of the board. It is also very pretty. I must say I like the aesthetics of this board a lot. So now we can fit this on there. Okay, so as you see here we have got our SATA port and uh, two times PCIe. I think this is one of the best looking boards that there are, but it is a special board. Yeah, it is more like the Kodas H2 that is built for a purpose. This is also built for a purpose. So this is built to be in a cluster. So you can connect multiple of these boards with this uh, PCI Express uh, port connector. So uh, for that it is great. I think this will be PCI Express 2 for uh, Wi-Fi. <coughs> so it does come with 128 gigabytes eMMC that I know they told me. I do not know how much memory this has got. Let's turn it on later on. But first, there is something very cool that I should show you. So they also sent me this. So I am a sucker for cases, certainly for, for metal cases, for very nice metal cases. And this one is such a case. Feels heavy. So, oh, now I see. Now I see. Now I see. So this is the NM.2 port for this. So I can plug in this over here for 6 times SATA 
and then I can plug this onto the back of the board. So I do not know what I can use this for. I will look into it if I can use this port for something. There is only one SATA port on here and uh, I do not have anything that can connect to this. But let's see this. So... So like that I can have 6 times SATA. So uh, this is something that I wanted. I have got three different NAS devices, so one is standing over here that isn't connected for the moment. I uh, only connect it once every two months or so. Something fell. So I, so I have three NAS devices. One is here, the Odroid HC4, my second Odroid HC4. This uh, I turn on once every two months uh, to back up uh, my second NAS, so uh, my other NAS is the NanoPi R6S, so that has got a 2 terabytes uh, SSD. And then I have got my XU4 downstairs, that also has got two hard drives. So with this one device I could replace all three my NAS devices with one device. So this would be put downstairs. One would have the internet connection and one would go upstairs, so 2.5 gigabits to upstairs and then I have a very fast NAS. So uh, just like my NanoPi R6S can do with one, so just like my NanoPi R6S can do with one drive, this can do it with six drives. So for that I was very interested in this board. So it is multifunctional, it isn't that you can only use it for a cluster, it is very multifunctional. But for me this 2x2.5 2 gigabit Ethernet, that was very, very tempting. So 2x2.5 2 gigabit Ethernet was very tempting for me. So for that I was very interested. So now let's take this off again. I put this here and let's check the case further because there is more in the case. So feet, screws, a screwdriver and a plug. And here we have got a connector for power or something. I don't know. Or would there be a fan in here? So let's see how this fits in there. So this is the front. Can this connect to something here? Yes, this connects to this. Okay, so this has to be connected now. Okay, so this is in like that. So here I have got the room for my NVMe. And like that it goes closed so this is very nice i love to see this so this is a very nice sbc it doesn't have got many usb ports that is something that it is missing because it is using the pci express for other things it does have got one usb c so i'm gonna use my usb c I don't know if I've got it over here. No, I don't. So I'm gonna use my USB-C hub and it also has got DP. So uh, for display I can connect three displays. So there is one HDMI in port I now can see. And there is one HDMI out port. There is a display port over USB and this one is for power. So now we can see it with the case on. So this is a very nice case. I think this can come open too. So you can take this off, 
to have a breakout. So I can only say this is a very nice board and this is a very nice case. I will enjoy this a lot. Now let's try to turn it on. I'm gonna put on the heatsink again. So nothing seems to be installed on it. I thought there could be something on the EMMC, but there isn't. So that is it for today. It is just an unboxing and showing what I've got. So this is very nice. Thank you very much, Mixtile. I am very happy with this. So this can replace all my NAS devices. So my three NAS devices. So this has got six SATA ports. So that is great. So this PCI Express uh port is very nice i will show a picture here of multiple boards that are connected to each other with this so this is great for clusters so this has got the rk3588 eight core socks so if you can put a lot of them together then that will be very powerful so you can make a super computer with this so thank you Mixtile, I will review this in a few weeks. So first I will do all my testing with this and then I will review this. So this isn't a review video at all. I just wanted to show you because I thought this looks very cool. So thank you Mixtile, see you later, bye!